Hi there, I'm Brad. Today I'm going to build this rustic outdoor cedar chair step by step through this video. I'm here at the Toronto Makerspace and Tool Library. I'm a member of both the Makerspace and Tool Library. It's fantastic. Every tool that you could possibly need, and it's membership based, and uh, they were kind of enough to let me film today. So, the overall dimensions of the chair it's 39 inches tall, 29 inches wide, 29 inches deep, and the height is about 16 inches, which uh, outdoor chairs typically range between 15 and 18, so it's right, right in the zone there. Um, all right, we'll get started with showing you what material you need and then doing our cuts and then our assembly. This is your equipment and material list. It has all the tools, safety gear, lumber, and hardware that you'll need. And this is the cut list laid out in the most efficient way to make all of your cuts. The front legs are 22 and a quarter inches long, mitered to 15 degrees. The back legs are 22 and three quarter inches long, mitered to 20 degrees. The seat frames are 19 and a half inches long, and one end is mitered to 35 degrees, and the other end is cut square. The seat back frames are 28 inches long. One end is mitered to 35 degrees, and at the other end, cut one inch off of both of the corners to 45 degrees. For the armrest, first cut 20 inch square pieces. Next, you'll want to cut a 60 degree miter off of one end, measured one inch in from the corner, and then at the other end, cut one inch off of each of the corners at 45 degrees. The cross frame pieces are really easy. They're just cut 19 inches square. With the 1x6s, cut 4 at 22 inches and 3 at 23 inches square. When you're sanding, make sure you wear a P100 mask, ear protection, and eye protection. I used an orbital sander with 120 grit sandpaper. You just want to go over all of the edges that you just cut, make sure that they're smooth and there's no splinters that you're going to pick up. Okay, I have all my pieces cut, edges sanded, shouldn't be picking up any splinters. I'll do a final sanding at the end on all of the surface that, surfaces that are going to be uh, basically regularly touched. Make sure that it's safe. I'm just going to go ahead and assemble everything now. So the first step is to attach the front legs to the seat frame. You can start by marking 12 inches from the bottom of the front legs or 10 and a quarter inches from the top. And you'll want to mark 3 inches from the front of the seat frame. Now align your marks, clamp the pieces together, and you'll want to make sure that the seat frame is on the inside of both of the leg frames, like I'm showing there. Now using two two-inch screws, attach the seat frame to the front leg, and be mindful of where your future bolt is going to go that secures these pieces. Now attach the back legs to the seat frame as shown. So the first thing you want to do is measure on the back legs 12 and a quarter inches from the bottom or 10 and a half inches from the top. Draw a reference line and then you'll want to align the seat frame with that reference line and put the bottom corner of that seat frame flush with the edge of the back leg. 
drive two two inch screws and again be mindful of where the feature bolt is going to go. Now attach the seat back frame to the seat frame. If you lay out a couple of scrap 2x4s on your work surface it's going to make it a lot easier to align make things flush. It's also helpful if you get an extra hand, get somebody to help you hold this in place. So using a three inch screw come through the back of the seat frame. You can get it started um, as I'm doing first to make things easier and then drive that straight into the seat frame and then you're going to use a two inch screw and drive it through into the back leg. And just be careful and line it up because there's not much lumber to drive the screw into. Now we're going to bore a hole in the armrest so that the bolt head sits flat. Measure one inch from the end of the armrest and then split the difference to find the middle using a three quarter inch spade bit. Bore it a hole until you have a flat surface for the bolt head. Next attach the armrest using four three inch screws and one two inch screw per armrest. So lay out your seat frame assembly. Measure three and a half inches from the front of the armrest and align that mark with the front edge of the front leg. Now using three inch screws, attach the armrest to the legs. And again, using a scrap piece of wood is going to help you line it up as I've got on the workbench there. Flip the assembly over and drive a two inch screw through the armrest and be mindful of where that future bolt is going to go. Now we'll install three bolts in each frame assembly. Start by marking one and three quarter inches up from the bottom of the seat frame and one and three quarter inches in from the edge. And as I did, just pay attention to where the screws are, make sure that you're not going to hit them. Use a 2164 drill bit, clean out the back, and then you'll drill through the armrest through that bore hole that you created. So just align the center of that, install all of your bolts with a washer under the head, washer under the nut. Tighten the nut, make sure it's nice and snug, and then go another half turn. And your assembly is going to be nice and secure. It should be really solid at this point. Install the 19 inch seat cross support with four three inch screws. Measure 13 inches from the front of the seat frame. Draw yourself a light line there and that is going to be where the front edge of the seat cross support goes. So you can get a couple screws started which are going to be on the back side at about 13 and a half inches from the front of the seat frame. If you get somebody to help you hold this it's going to be a lot easier. Drive those screws into the seat cross support and then proceed to do the exact same thing on the other side and now you can see that your chair is starting to come together. Install the remaining two 19 inch cross supports on the back of the seat. Measure from the top of the chair back frame and mark 3 inches and 21 inches. And then from the front edge of that chair back frame mark 1 inches at both of your 3 inch and 21 inch marks. Get your screws started and then the bottom 19 inch cross support is going to be installed aligned with the front edge at that 1 inch mark and the top edge at that 21 inch mark. And then the top 19 inch cross support piece, get your screw started and then align the top edge with the three inch mark and the front edge with the one inch mark and finish driving the screws. Now 
Install a 22 inch seat slat on the front of the chair. Take a look at the piece and pick the side that you want to be facing outward. Get your screws started and align the top edge with the top edge of your seat frame. And drive the screws. Install the three remaining 22 inch seat slats and leave a half inch space in between each one. So get your first one aligned with the front edge of that front seat slat and drive four two inch screws. Measure a half inch from the back edge of that first seat slat and install the other one. If it's a little tight, you can take off a saw blade or just grab a rubber mallet, tap it down and drive four more two inch screws. And then for that last piece, again, measure another half inch. Get that aligned with those half inch marks and drive another four two inch screws into that board. For the last assembly step, install the three 23 inch back slats. Measure three quarter inches in from the seat frame and get your first seat slat Align the bottom edge of the seat slat with the bottom edge of the cross support piece and clamp it in place and drive four two inch screws. Next measure half inch in from that first seat slat and that's going to be where your second seat slat edge aligns to. Drive another four two inch screws and then for the third slat you've already got that three quarter inch mark from the chair frame and that should leave a half inch gap between the second and third slat. And that is it. Assembly is complete. Now you can take a seat and see what you think. Now we just need to do a final sanding of the chair. So again, make sure that you have your P100 mask, ear protection, eye protection, and use 120 grit sandpaper. Go over the entire chair and this is going to ensure that nobody picks up a splinter and it's also going to make it ready for finishing to apply a stain or a clear coat or whatever you choose to finish the chair with. And that's it. So if you could please like and comment and share my video, I would really appreciate it. Feel free to send me any feedback, any improvements that you think we could make. And thank you for watching.